I am C. Subaya, Forest Range Officer Retired, speaking from Madurai, Tamil Nadu. This speech, especially for sandal, red sandal planters in Andhra Pradesh and also Tamil Nadu and other state also. What is this speech? This speech is specially for the Andhra Pradesh due to the, the sandal and red sandal banned by the government of India to export in other country. This ban is done by the Indian government as per the request of the site organization. The site organization included the red sandal in appendix 2 and also the sandal included the endangered species in the site organization. If any species in flora and fauna banned by the site organization are included in the appendix 1, 2 and 3, it may not be exported from one country to another country without the permission of the site organization. If red sandal and sandal we want to export to any other country we must get permission from the site organization for the export due to that we are not able to export sandal and red sandal to other country. That is one problem. Another one problem is the Andhra Pradesh government writ petition filed in the Supreme Court of India to Red Sandal may be included in Schedule 6 as a specified plan in the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. If any species included in Schedule 6 as a specified plan, the so many rules and regulations and condition will come according to Section 17 of Wildlife Protection Act 1972. As per the Supreme Court of India already gave direction to the Government of India this red sandal should be included in the Schedule 6 of Wildlife Act. In the case of Govartan and others, the direction given by the Supreme Court of India in writ petition number 202 of 2005, I come to know till the date the government of India not include that the red sandal in schedule 6 it may be done by the government of india the private farmers from andhra pradesh and also other state will face so many complications and conditions may become 
as per the section 17 of OLA Act. So, each and every time, even if it is a government of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and other states, they want to export the red sandal and sandal from India to any other country. They must get the permission from the site organization and then we must get the order from the government of India for export and then only we can sell the red sandal and sandal to any other country and also export from India to other country. But it is not an easy joke. We are not able to get orders each and every time from such organization So, I want to success my brothers, those who are planted red sandal in Andhra Pradesh, all the peoples, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and Karnataka and any other state, will unite one wing under one umbrella. They should form one association. Red Sander Planters Association. They can move the government and Supreme Court of India to, favor, to get favorable orders for Red Sander. What is this? First of all, the writ petition may be filed as appeal in the Supreme Court of India and should get order in favor of Red Sandal for the former against the Covertan judgment. The Red Sandal is not only available in Andhra Pradesh, it is also available in Tamil Nadu and so many places. Because we bring the matter to the site organization. It is a large number of red sandal tree is available in India in so many places. Though the red sandal should be deleted from the appendix 2 of site organization and then the band will come to end for export. That is one thing. Another one thing, the writ petition may be filed in the Supreme Court of India for the stay of overturn cases in judgment. That is writ petition number 202 of 2005. Unless the red, plant, red sandal planters all over the India will affect in so many manner because they must unite in one wing and form association and move to the government and also site organization in favor of the former. This is my opinion. I request all, uh, all the farmers of Red Sandal and Sandal Pandas unite in one wing and take suitable action for in favor of the former. Thank you very much. Thank you.